throughout the process, we've been in contact with the DEC and with the KDE, so I'd also want to thank uh, Attorney Don for helping out with that stuff. Um, the last one, our railroad avenue has been TV recorded and sewer jetted near the Senior Activity Center for the purpose of an inflow infiltration study and for the placement of flow meters. So we are moving forward with our INI study and the flow study, and we will continue to do so. That's all I have. Okay, I got a couple of things you want to also congratulate the 2010 graduates of Goshen High School. I went to the ceremony, the village of Goshen awarded two scholarships. Laura and Shirley, Shirley, and it was really a, a very moving ceremony. They dedicated, the class of 2010 dedicated the uh, yearbook to Hannah Cross, the uh, classmate of theirs who passed away unfortunately. And the uh, Crosleys gave out a scholarship in her name, and uh, it was really a moving thing to see these young, these young uh, men and women get together and, uh, you know, dedicate the yearbook to them and everything, and they, they spoke a little about, about Hannah and the parents did, and it was really a moving ceremony. I'm very happy I was there. Uh, also, I want to remind everybody that this weekend is the Great American Weekend, and uh, we have the race, and I would uh, take a bet that I'm going to beat the ambulance over the line again this year. <laughs> it's also a very popular dunk the mayor or dunk the lawyer. Oh, are you going to be available? Oh, I don't think so. Year? No, no, this is, this, 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 this is the lawyer. Dunking the lawyer was actually more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume so. Believe that or not, yes. No, not going anywhere. People were flocking from all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I want to remind everybody that the Great American Weekend is this Saturday, the 24th. Yeah. Uh, it's at the Children. Yeah. Also, we're working on that sign. My son told me the next time. Talk to him before I volunteer him to fix the stuff. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, I look at stuff and I say, well, I, guess, I guess he can do it. I know I can't do it. But uh, it was more work. Tell him no the pressure, the whole thing is just quick. Yeah, but he's, <laughs> <laughs> but he's working on it along with Mike, uh, Kevin, and Point, because they're going to get it out for the three ladies. We should have it out before we put it in Okay, citizens' comments. Questions? Yes. Um, Kyle uh, Wood, do you know what the status of the state audit, audit of the town is, and is that going to have any bearing on the litigation that you guys are like, going to go forward with? Um, that's the first question. And um, where, where, were, where was the discussion about the renegotiation of the intermunicipal agreement um, in the talk that you had? Uh, I didn't hear you mention anything about that. Well, uh, fiscal locations. Well, the agreement itself. I mean, I, I, I mean, the town had asked for the whole contract to be renegotiated. Wasn't that part of the talk? Yes. Is it? You want me to take it? I, I think John, what happened? We were we were negotiating the agreement. What Kyle referred to was the offer that we made to the town. The town rejected that offer. So if you look at that sheet, that's the highlight of our. Position to renegotiate to have a new intermunicipal agreement. Those okay. those would be the major terms of that agreement. They rejected those terms. Yeah, that's what we offered. So I just want to clarify something on that sheet too. It's Seventy dollars per quarter. That we were telling. That's what the village residents pay, and that's what we're asking them to pay. We're asking them to pay less than the village residents. We're asking them to pay the same seventy per quarter. So. And the uh, any any uh, status on the audit? At all. In terms of litigation, that wouldn't have any impact. That wouldn't have any impact at all. It's not an enforcement body. They just can advise. Um, any, and any reason why the town, uh, did the town give any explanations for why they particularly want the pump station and, and the pipes connected to it, uh, why they presented that condition to you as part of the negotiation? Is, is most of the I and I occurring in in that section of the? I'm not familiar with their system and where the, the hot spots are, but I do know that both those pump stations are in bad need of repair. So what their rationale is, I I don't know, but it would appear as though they're trying to shift a large portion of their costs onto the road residents. Any 
Yes. Uh, when Kyle was speaking, he said that um, some of the uh, some of the operation of the sewer plant comes out of the general fund. Is that correct? There's certain costs that come to running the plant, like for example, that come out of the general fund. Yes. What are they? Well, when the village treasurer. What? When the village treasurer is doing sewer related things, the village clerk doing sewer related things, postage, things like that. There's when the DPW works on a certain item related to the sewer plant. There's all the bits and pieces that come from the general fund items that go towards the plant. Well, there's several categories in the sewer fund, uh, which uh, I don't know if I had the thing in front of me, I could uh, listen uh, specifically with you, but as I remember, I told them up, I brought up at the, uh, at the uh, budget meeting, which came to about 260 some odd thousand dollars. It, there's certain things that are attributed within the sewer budget, but it's not all encompassing. And there's certain things that cost money to the village residents, they pay out of their taxes, that aren't in the sewer fund. So it might be, if it's something to look into, then that's something we had discussed about taking a closer look at the items that are in that amount, like DPW under sewer. But overall, there are funds that come out of this, the general fund. But, but, but do you know what the uh, you know what the specific uh, the specific amounts are on those, on these uh, categories that you're talking about? I don't have it in front of me right now. There, there's no specific amounts, just a general idea. No, oh, not specific amounts. You don't have in front of you. Oh, okay. And in there fact, are, there are specific amounts that you have a lot of for the points that you are, are, are mentioning? There are certain light items in the sewer budget that are that talk about some of those costs, but those aren't all costs. And there's more that uh, of those costs and they're in the general fund? For the most part, when you look at other municipalities, having an extra amount for admission users is the norm, it's not the exception, and this is the same concept. It's guided by, I mean, the law that guides it, Brent, as you know, about how it has to be self-sufficient. And I think that if you wanted specific numbers from Kyle, that he would have to get them from the treasurer, and he could be more finite. Well, I mean, if the, um, if the DPW is doing work for work on the sewer plant, the, um, that, that should be in the, in, in the sewer budget. It is. It is. Well, yes, I thought it was mentioned that there were things that were in the general fund. There were things, like if the treasurer spends some time. Okay. Not the DPW. DPW has a line on their shop. They have a line, okay. Right, right. Just to be clear about something, too, if the town rejecting us and coming back on the third, right word here, uh, outrageous demands about uh, pump stations and infrastructure issues, they never disputed the rate schedule we wanted to give them. They were fine with that, right? They understood that. They were okay with that. So I, I just want just wanted to be clear, no one's questioned as to why and you're free to question, right? I'm not suggesting you're not. Uh, but they understood the process of, and Kyle had the numbers with them when he was having those discussions. But the only reason I'm, I'm the only reason I'm bringing this up is because the first time I've heard this statement that there are uh, areas in the sewer budget, which are being taken care of by out of the general fund, and I mean, this is this is this is a new new uh, point uh, that's never been stated before. I, I don't know if that's accurate. I, I don't remember. I don't know if that's accurate because it's it's a common thing. I mean, we, we meet with our well, when you say common thing, who, who, in what? in municipalities, the out of district rate. Is to cover things like that because an out of district user doesn't pay in district rates and doesn't pay in district taxes. For example, for a joint recreation at the day camp, if there is someone that goes to the Goshen Day Camp that lives in Hansenburg, we have an extra rate for them because they aren't paying in the town of Goshen taxes. So it's the same concept. Well, I really wasn't bringing this up because of what's going on as far as out of district use. I was bringing this up because if indeed there are funds in the general fund that are going towards the operation of the sewer fund, it isn't clear. I'm not understanding. Well, the, you take the general, you take the, gen, the budget for the general fund, and I don't, are there areas in there that list specifically for the sewer? You have a series of line items in the sewer budget. Some talk about things that are out of the general fund. However, 
not all those are exact. So you have some crossover that you need to be careful of. That's content. I'm not saying it's some huge amount of money, but it does exist. Right, so if you take it.